Welcome to Laravel API development with Vue.js single page application from scratch. The following episode is going to be an excerpt from the full course now available on Udemy. If you're interested in developing robust Laravel APIs with a front end built on Vue and Tailwind CSS, then this is the course for you. We go into great detail talking about things like authentication, testing, Tailwind CSS, Vue.js, Laravel, PHP unit, and so much more. So I hope you'll join me for the full course. Go ahead and click on the link in the description to get sent to the Udemy page where you can purchase the full course. I hope you enjoy this episode. Now that we have some routing in place, let's start taking care of our front end. And specifically, we're going to pull in the Tailwind CSS library. To do that, let's go ahead and visit the tailwindcss.com website and let's go ahead and follow the installation instructions. Click the getting started button and first and foremost, of course, npm install is required. So let's go ahead and run that command now. Back in our project, simply paste that command in and this is going to add Tailwind CSS as a dependency. However, this is not enough. We still need to add this to our CSS file and what these three commands will do is it will actually bring in the three Tailwind components into our CSS file. Let's go ahead and copy these three commands, head back to PHP Storm and then this is going to go inside our app.scss file. This is the file that got emptied out whenever we used the preset none. So now it's time for us to fill it back up with some Tailwind classes. So we have the three Tailwind classes, but we're still missing a couple more steps. So let's keep scrolling down. And the first thing we need to do is create a config file. Now the way Tailwind works is of course, it's got a bunch of defaults and they're all fantastic. But if you need to customize something, that's where the Tailwind config file comes into play. So to create a default one, we simply run this command in our terminal. Now notice here that this says npx and not npm. So keep that in mind when you are running this command. So we'll run that and that will add a tailwind config.js file right in our project's root directory. So let's go back to PHP storm. And if we scroll down here, sure enough, here it is tailwind.config.js and it's empty and that's okay. As we progress our project, any customizations that we need for Tailwind will actually get added into this config file. So it's good that we have a default one already in place. The last thing we need to do is of course, let Webpack and Mix know about Tailwind. There's a section specifically on Laravel Mix. So if we scroll down here a little bit, there's this last section here for SAS, right? And this is what we are using right now. So this is the one that we are interested in. Let's go ahead and copy this and we'll bring that into the webpack.mix file. And that file is right underneath the Tailwind config file. And right now, all it's doing is compiling our JavaScript file located inside resources app.js. We've done some modifications to this file. And then when it's done, it's going to put the final file inside public slash JS. Then it's going to do the same thing for our SAS file. This file that we just modified right here, this is where it's getting pulled in. Notice how there's a reference to it right at the beginning and the same as the line up here, it's going to put it inside the public slash CSS. Let's go ahead and paste this command right here. And right away, we can tell that this line and this line are exactly the same. So we can actually just replace that with that. So that pretty much matches up. Now, the last thing we need to do is go ahead and fix this tailwind config path, because right now it just says path to your tailwind config. Clearly that is not the correct one. As a matter of fact, all we have to do is just delete that because it is in the current directory. Remember they're sitting right next to each other right here. So we just need to pull in that config file. Now, just to make it pretty, let's bump this into a new line and this into a new line. And then we'll go ahead and add the semicolon here just to keep it simple. So one last step to our webpack.mix file, and that is that we need to let webpack know about this tailwind. Notice how it's still wiggled, which means it's missing an import statement. Let's go back to Chrome one more time. And right in the same block, we do have this constant of tailwind that requires the tailwind CSS. So let's go ahead and copy that command, head back into PHP storm, and we'll just add that right here at the top. All right, so we'll hit save. Of course, we're still running the watcher in the back, so that should compile. So let's go ahead and maybe do a test here somewhere so that we can see some sort of Tailwind class actually work on our project. So let's pull open the login.blade.php file. And this is riddled with classes from Bootstrap. But of course, we're going to have to recreate a lot of this stuff in Tailwind. 
As a matter of fact, I've got a design mock that I want to use for us to implement. So let's just simply change this into some sort of Tailwind class. How about BG Red 400? That way we know that there is some sort of Tailwind class actually working. All right, let's head back to Chrome and then let's go ahead and refresh our login page. And sure enough, we see that Tailwind is working behind the scenes. So for the next couple of lessons, let's go ahead and get the login view looking pretty.